Kylie Brown. Thank you for joining me. Welcome back to those who are previous subscribers and viewers. And welcome to those who are first timers. Feel free, please feel free to contact me if you'd like a private reading. Okay, so we have the Ten of Swords, the Judgment card, the Death. Card, the world card okay something needs to come to an end here the fall but with an end comes a new beginning and the eight of cups okay so straight off the bat something is coming to an end here with the death card coming through quite strongly this could be the way of life this could be the end of a job relationship death can come in many forms and um, the fact that it has the world card and the judgment this could be someone overseas this could be uh, a, a wheel that gets left to you maybe this could be some sort of settlement that you're legally involved in with the judgment card and you'll have to go and pursue these other this other uh, this issue this settlement but there's something new on the horizon here with the ten of swords beautiful card I mean I feel as though something some transformation you, you need to lose something in order to gain with the ten of swords so something needs to be lost because here he is lying there with the swords in his back and it's not and it doesn't necessarily have to be taken as deceit or someone stabbing you in the back as i said before you need to lose something in order to gain that's the only way you will gain so an old way of life needs to die if you want the world if you want to pursue whatever it is that you want to pursue and it could be when travel with the full card here but there's a new horizon here and it could be in an overseas it could definitely be in an overseas venture because we have new land here and a new dawn rising this could even be in your mind as well i mean swords is communication it rules the mind this could be that you're revamping rethinking putting yourself in a different mental state here it's, and this could be a death maybe a death brings you a new perspective on life it could be someone around you that's lingering towards death it could be that you revisit someone that has passed on or you're getting messages from someone that has passed on this could also indicate that an ex-lover is coming back to your life coming back in your life and asking you for a new beginning and i feel i'm tempted to say maybe this could offer you a really good beginning i mean we'll ask the priestesses a little later on but i feel as though it looks pretty promising what this what this person this ex-partner ex-friend can offer you it could be friendship Maybe they're extending the olive branch. Maybe you've had a falling out and it's been quite messy and severe and spiteful. But I feel as though, you know, you've maybe you were too quick to judge here. I mean, you could have been a bit foolish or naive, but I feel for the most part, there's lack here and someone might present you with something and it might be exactly what you're missing. It might be the puzzle piece that you're missing. Because with the judgment card, I'm tempted to say this, it could be some sort of legal a settlement regarding a death, a property, a will. It could be an, a, an authority that's getting back to you for travels. It could be a visa that you're asking for. Judgment, this could be family. Maybe this is family not approving of you going overseas. Maybe this is you changing your life completely and just heading overseas, moving completely. You know, you're missing you're missing something here. Lee Brian, maybe this is the time to go and search for it. You've got the fool. All you need is the bag on your back, the clothes on your back, and you're good to go. You've got the world. The world is your oyster here. There's new horizons. There's death, transformation. There's a new beginning here. With death also comes life as well. With the world card, you could be hearing of a pregnancy, a new child being born into the family. Also with the judgment card, judgment is needed here. So again, I'm tempted to say it could be a person returning into your life and you need to present a judgment about them. Maybe they've missed you and they're seeking you out and they finally go ahead and do that. Maybe they're, uh, they could be, they're from a foreign background. Could be a Scorpio, could be an air sign. Could be an Aries as well, a Gemini, the Fool. Judgment, yeah, it could be Libra as well if you're dealing with a Libra, or could be you. But I feel as though the judgment, something regarding death or a travel opportunity will change your judgment in a really big way. And I feel as though it's it will transform the way you're thinking and what it is that you really want out of life. It will, it will, you will gain a new perspective. Is what I'm seeing this month from whatever happens. 
a brand new perspective like you haven't previously known before because we do have the death card and the death card does indicate again as i've mentioned a, a, an actual death an old way of life dying transformation rebirth of some sort or maybe a partner's coming back in and they've completely changed and they're wanting to start this new beginning with you and they want to offer you the world or it could be that you hear about news about a death and it just changes things for you or maybe you're just getting more spiritually in touch maybe you're visiting uh, deceased ones that have passed on maybe you're receiving messages from those that have passed on which is indicated to me by of course the death card but also by the world card because with the world card it's a beautiful card anything is possible all bets are off and the world is just not our world it's it's several worlds it's the spiritual world it's the underworld there's a lot of different realms around our physical world of course so this could be messages coming through to you I mean, we do have an angel here this could be loved ones that have deceased and are guiding you in the way in the right direction if it if you want to travel or you want to seek that new venture go ahead because it's being blessed by those that have passed on around you and giving you signals now, if this is work-related, I feel as though if you're dealing with some sort of compensation case, I feel like there'll be news about it. You may have to take on a new agent, a new lawyer. You may have to seek something else to get a final judgment on something. You could be working on a green card, a settlement. But I feel as though a conclusion is coming to this. You will be getting an answer. However, maybe a little bit more work might be needed. Something's missing here. There's a missing piece uh, to achieve this outcome. Because the full card is something new, the world is something completed, the 10 is a new horizon on here, but something's missing here. So you may have to venture out um, where you haven't previously ventured before to see what it is that you're missing and what it is that's needed for this judgment call, this authority, this green card, this settlement, this conveyancing, this court case. It could be that you get overseas representation. It could be that you're dealing with a lawyer that has different branches overseas and different foreign shores. That could certainly be it. But the world card is a really beautiful card. It's completion here. It's completion. This could indicate travel. This could indicate that you meet someone on your travel. I mean, the fool is a new beginning. But I feel it's more to do with it's more to do with yourself and your your mental state and your disposition. And your, yourself rather than love I mean that's just such a big thing for you this month Libra so it's important if you are thinking about traveling please do so the world card is here the full make sure you do all your legalities you know you do your travel insurance etc because you can't you can't be the full you need to take the practical steps and protect yourself with the judgment card here that's needed before you go out and seek what it is that you're seeking And if you want to change your life, you can. That's big for you this month. It's certainly possible. The world card, again, I, as I mentioned, it's travel. It's things coming to completion. Maybe this court case you've been waiting for, some sort of authority with a judgment, an, an inheritance, a will, a property dispute, a deed of some sort, a, ha a deed to a house even, a deed to a house overseas it could be. You'll be hearing news of this. The outcome is delivered here this month also with the full card this indicates a new beginning so again if you and he's sort of looking into the world here so if you are thinking about travel this could indicate that you're planning travel and a really big trip that you haven't previously planned before and it could be that something sparks that quite quite quickly this could indicate a move a new beginning to a different city state an old way of life dying an old job you no longer work doesn't serve your purpose anymore you're no longer there but new beginnings with travels and planning travel, something to do with overseas, different lands, expanding your horizons. It could be that you move on and you start a new job working for an online store or for a business that has a lot of online stores or different branches in different shores. It could be an online business if you're starting that and you're waiting to get the go ahead from uh, your terms and conditions from business lawyers, etc. Waiting to get all the legalities in order, which you will. And we also have the Eight of Cups down here as well. And this is you leaving, seeking to seek what it is that you really want. There's a bit of anxiety around you here, Libra. So I'm not sure what it is. 
And that's why I was tempted to say there's loss of some kind here. And you may be feeling a bit anxiety ridden, creative and just burdened in some way and feel as though you need to take charge of your life. Now is the time to do so. Sometimes loss needs to happen around us for us to gain and gain a new perception with judgment and gain and bring on a new horizon, a new way of living with the Ten of Swords, a new way of thinking, a new beginning with the Fool. So sometimes that needs to happen in order for us to really realize what our world is about, who is in our world, what can we do with our world, what can we do with ourselves, how can we start a new beginning again. But there's new starts here, definitely a lot of transformation, new starts, an outcome of something will be delivered. If you're thinking about traveling and you're waiting for, you know, maybe you're applying for a visa of some sort, that could be it, that's coming through quite strongly. But I'm tempted to see what this, what the death card is bringing us. What the death card is bringing in for Libra. What is the death card bringing for Libra? What is this in relation to? So rebirth, beautiful. That's coming through so strongly for you this month. Priestess of Rebirth, here are her dates, November 25th, December 23rd. Maybe this was the time last year. Maybe it will happen. You will see results of it of some kind or completion of some kind. But the Priestess of Rebirth, you've, you have a lot of sh change, a lot of things shifting. Rebirth of your world. Your world will be shaken up. Things will be changing. New horizons with the Death card. Also big transformations coming for you here in a really, really big way. Don't be foolish though. If it is what you're seeking, go after it. Don't be naive, don't be foolish. Go go and seek what it is that you're looking for, but rebirth, big change coming for you. And I'm thinking it's more to do with yourself, your inner being, your spiritual awakening, enlightenment, more of that kind. I mean, of course it could be a, a relationship as well. But I feel it's more to do something that you've been waiting for. There's a rebirth, there's a change of some sort. Could be a new job, it could be a new lover, of course. They could offer you the world. And it could be someone from the past, a relationship you reignite again that's from the past. But you do have the world and the fool, so there is this new beginning, this rebirth. But a rebirth in what? Priestesses, tell us what this rebirth will be in. Just specify in some way what this rebirth will bring you. The death card. In what part of your life will this rebirth be happening? So enchantment. So some sort of inspired thought here. Something will enchant you. Again, it's it could be a person or it could be a new idea of some sort. But I feel as though there's a lot of things happening around you, big things that will shake up your world and will enchant you and mesmerize you in some way. It could be the travel that mesmerizes you. It could be the outcome of this legal battle or court case or etc. It could be this death, this loss of some sort, but it's enchanting in a way and it's positive. Despite the death card not being a very positive card, the Priestess of Enchantment is here dated February 18th to March 17th. And here she is with a beautiful color blue and a majestic seahorse. Very majestic enchanting creatures that I could just watch on hours on end. So there's a lot of enchantment around you. Inspiration. You'll be inspired by this loss, this death, this rebirth, the world. There's a lot of creative thought, inspired ideas that are coming to you. And you're, you know, you're wanting to just go out there on a limb. And if it is what you're seeking, go do it. Just be practical with the judgment card here. Because the world is your oyster. It's right in front of you there. But good luck. I hope you have a lovely month.